walk to this stage. I read the scripture in John because when Jesus came along, John was the man. He had the crowd, he had the name, he had the audience, he had the power, he had the brand, he was unique, he was authentic, he was creative. Jesus said there was none like John. But the truth of the matter is God gave John his platform so that he would be smart enough to know when to pass it on. And after 30 years of ministering Woman Art Loose and 45, 46 years of preaching the gospel, the time has come that I must decrease that you might increase. I am so proud of you. Don't get it twisted. I'd be proud of you if you were driving for the post office. I'd be proud of you if you worked at Kmart. I'd be proud of you if you were sweeping the floor. I'm not just proud of what you do. I am proud of who you are. You are bone of my bone. You are flesh of my flesh. My DNA runs through your body. But none of that is the reason why you are standing on this stage. This is not an inheritance. This is a calling. You are not standing on this stage for family legacy. If you didn't have the oil, you would not be standing here. I respect God too much to throw somebody up here just because they're kin to me. And I love you too much to put you in a situation for which you were not endowed with the creativity and the strength and the power and the tenacity to do the thing that is set before you. And yes, it will be hard. And yes, it will be difficult. And yes, there will be haters and critics who walk and talk and say everything that there is to say about you as they did me but greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I want you to understand you have come full circle. You rose to the stage at Lakewood to introduce me and had the courage to tell your story at woman thou art loose and now you're standing on the stage of woman thou art loose as I pass the baton All of this
when you were preaching, this is hard. When you were preaching last night and I sat on the steps, I sat there as a watchman on the wall and I will sit there as long as I am alive. When you made your announcement, you said that when I invited you back to church, when you had Malachi and stood you up and welcomed you back, that you knew in that moment that I had your back. My hair is now gray. My body is stiff. I am now much older. But with all the strength and might that is within me, I sat over there as a watchman on the wall to say, I still have your back. I want you to understand this is not a favor. This is not daddy. This is a divine assignment. That woman thou art loose must evolve. When I came to Denver to hear you do Woman Evolve, I sat on the front row and it was then that God spoke to me and said, it is time for you to decrease that she might increase. I had the voice for our generation. Did I not? Did I not have the anointing to reach around the world to my generation? The Bible says that David served his generation well. My generation is aging as I am aging. You are the voice for this time and for this generation. Bring the bench. There is something I confer upon you. Not all people will like you. Not all people will follow you. Not all people will agree with you. But you preach the gospel in season and out of season. Some people will follow this one and some people will follow that one and some will make a career out of trying to kill you but preach the gospel. Preach it when they like you. Preach it when they hate you. Preach it when you're lonely. Preach it when you're scared to death. Preach it when you don't know what to do or what to say. One day I will be gone and all you will have is this video. But every time you're backed in a corner and every time you're shoved to the wall, play this video and hear your father tell you that you are enough. You are enough. Sometimes you won't know what to do. Sometimes you won't know what to say. Sometimes your enemy's voice will seem so much louder than your own, but you are enough. They will hate you and betray you and use you and see you only as an opportunity and forget you are a person and that you are a wife and a mother and a daughter and that you have a life